Hello, Mohammed here from Secure Secrets. Today, I'm doing a video tutorial on getting started with developing a secret contract. By the end of this video, you will be able to get the right dependencies to develop a secret contract, deploy a secret contract on the test network, understand the basics of the secret contract, and query the contract. We're going to follow uh, a particular secret app guide that's already published on the secret network and deploy and run uh, a simple secret counter application on the secret network. Uh, it just basically increments uh, a number every time you query to it. So let's see how that works. Uh, for this guide, I've used Ubuntu and you will need some skills with Linux Cli uh, to run some commands with secret Cli. Uh, just for your information, the secret Cli runs on both Windows and Mac but I found that Linux is the best to get Rust set up without any conflicts with any of your depend existing dep dependencies that may be from other dev, dev tools. So uh, I'm going to use VMware for this video and without further ado, let's get started. So like I mentioned, we're going to be using this particular secret app dev guide that's published on the secret network. Um, I'm going to post this link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get go ahead and install Secret Cli. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this link right here and go to my um, uh, command and go ahead and get this in. So let's go ahead and grab this in. Here you get, paste. And it should install Secret Cli there. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's, oh, I already have a version in there, so I'm gonna get rid of that first. Secret, chat run. And now as you see, that's secret client. Let's change the permissions for it so that it has execution permission, permissions or else it won't execute my commands. Now let's go ahead and configure that. Let's check secret client is runnable, yep. And now we can go ahead and add a bootstrap node in there so let's go sudo secret client config node tcp bootstrap pub testnet 3 add that into configuration so it's saved in the secret config we can directly go and actually modify that if you want so uh like you see we can go to dot secret client so let's go ahead and check our configuration from there there and go to config ls and uh, nano config tamil and there we see we have the testnet 4 node and uh, we can set this test node to be true as well so you can go ahead and modify this as well so this is how you technically add the thing i've already added it into my configuration so i'm going to skip that and let's go and get rust installed now so to install Rust uh, is another um, uh, setup. So we need to go ahead and let's get this link and let's open it in our Firefox. Option to install Rust. Let's go ahead and grab that. And paste. It's gonna download the installer. I go with the default installation uh, one and yep I, so this was fast because i already have rust installed uh, on this particular vm uh, but you should uh, be uh, it should take a couple of minutes before the rust client gets installed in there um, and before and it will show you successfully installed and it should show you that your source home cargo environment should be configured with the current shell and let's run source source slash home start cargo slash environment all right and that should actually show yep and that shows rest up is installed so now let's go ahead and configure rest up default stable uh based on how let's go ahead and grab the commands to run in so let's go ahead and grab our commands this is for the wasm32 and let's go ahead and get these commands ready so go ahead all right 
so we have run all the wasm32 libraries um, last we need to also make sure that we have all the build essentials um, so that uh, we can run our code essentials Let's go under sudo there. All right, that's we got our essentials, and now we can go ahead and see um, the complete cargo install cargo slash generate um, features. That's just a typo. Let's go ahead and fix that. So, and that should be, it's already installed. Yes, okay, I have already installed this, so I'm good to go. Uh, we can cross check by doing cargo version that everything is running fine, and that's the cargo 1.46 so that is good to go now we need to go ahead and uh, make a wallet so let's go ahead and do that with our uh, secret lie so uh, but before we do create a wallet let's actually go ahead and install an IDE um, I do have Visual Studio installed on Linux so that we can get started from there and um, yep right there you i prefer to use visual studio but uh, in the guide i believe they they allow us to use c line um it's up to you what you want to use uh it's just the uh, um ide to go with so let's go ahead and run a terminal in here i'm gonna go ahead and grab the project from the github secret template let's go and get that link So right here and let's go ahead copy that and let's go ahead and creating a project okay we we did that let's go to my simple counter and that's good um, I'm also gonna actually move my secret lie from there to the my simple counter folder uh, just so it's easier to run the dot secret lie uh, if you already install secret like globally on your comp on your distribution then you should you don't need to like move the secret like uh, either so let's go ahead and um, generate our key pair with our secret like so um, there let's go ahead and we'll just run stuff from there uh, it's just easier to run stuff inside your project and let's go ahead and create a key pair Secret cli and keys add. Um, let's say dev in this case. Uh, okay, so we created a key pair. Let's go ahead, copy paste this just in case. Um, copy. Let's go ahead to go ahead back to our project. So now let's list our keys and see if. Oh, Secret line keys list, and I think we should see dev there. Oh. And there is our dev key. Now that we have got key installed, let's go ahead and fund this uh, key uh, from the facet. So I have the facet open right here, and this is the testnet 3 that I'm using. Um, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, this may be on mainnet or you could or could be on a different version of testnet. So uh, just make sure you're running the secret lie with the right version and using the right facets or else you'll have errors. You wouldn't be able to fund your account. So like you saw the send message came in. Let's go ahead and um, see our account and checking and seeing that our account is funded with the 100 secrets from hundred test secrets from the facet let's go ahead and now work with a contract 
so let's go ahead and list all our things in the project and as you see there is test examples and you see um, our source I think this is where our contract lives so this is our contract primary contract and as you see um, I think the main things that you should know are the init function um, the handle function and our function to uh, increment um, the counter that is custom made and um, queries to actually query the uh, the contract um, the init function is only ever called when we initialize the uh, the contract uh, pretty much from the um, the real logic really lives in the uh, our custom function that increments the um, the counter and as you see there's a state counter here in this in this function which is just a simple uh, count option so let's go ahead and change that actually to uh, increment by five um, we will save that uh, let's go ahead and now compile this uh, and you will need to have an npm installed so if you don't already have that you can go ahead and install that by using sudo sudo apt uh, it's sudo apt install npm uh, since I already have it, it's gonna uh, basically I'm gonna go ahead and use npm to install uh, the wasm output so let's go ahead and wasm output and that should generate um, a wasm library uh, oh, let's go ahead and see that's because I don't have sudo again let's go ahead and add sudo so that we have the right permissions uh, and that should create the wasm bytecode. So as you see, it will add in. Oh, let's make the project first before it does add it. So now we'll see compiling, and then you should. So once the make command is finished building stuff, you will see that there are two actual things added. There's a, co a contract dot wasm thing and a costrump dot wasm dot gz, which is actually what's going to be deployed on the secret network. So let's go ahead and do just that deployed on the secret network. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this um, uh, code in. Code in. Uh, basically, it's just a compute query that stores the contract on the network. And make sure we call the secret client properly. So you will see a transaction hash come up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if this uh, transaction was successful. But uh, you can run this on a command by just checking by in secret cli by just doing secret cli queue transaction and putting the transaction hash. But since I have the uh, explorer up here, let's go ahead and just check if the transaction was successful. So as you see, my uh, this did run code ID 47 and uh, this code ID is also important. Uh, the the document actually tells you how to retrieve the list code. Um, since I already know what the code ID is, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this right here. Um, let's go ahead and actually uh, instantiate the secret contract. So in it, um, equals count that's gonna set our count let's make it 10,000 let's close this with um, properly all right and let's make our code underscore ID equals 47. All right, um, since I defined that, I'm gonna go ahead and just run secret, secret apply, transaction compute instantiate. code underscore id and in it from dev that's our account and 
let's create a label as well let's call it uh, dev me and let's go ahead and do that oh. spell that wrong All right, so as you see, the transaction is successfully done on the network. Just go and let's go and check if that's successful. Uh, store contract, go, go up. Let's refresh that. And, uh, yep, let's see. As you see, initialize contract from here, 47, dev me, and contract address is that. Oh, so let's go ahead and grab the contract address. We'll need that. Um, let's go back to our courier we have the address in hand so let's go ahead and set that on our client equals all right so we have that set now let's go ahead and query the contract state so secret client query compute Query contract Let's run slash get count this should return our count current count that's on the on the particular install share contract. and our count is 10,000. Awesome. Now let's uh, go ahead and increment this actually. So increment, increment, and this is actually a um, compute execute function, not a query, it's a transaction. So compute execute, our contract increment and this cost us test secrets so we have to make sure we select from dev and it'll ask you to sign it uh, and as you see there's a fee associated with this let's select yes and it's broadcasted let's go ahead and check this on execute contract right here from us all right that looks good let's go ahead and actually in query back our get count and as you see the count increased from 10,000 to 10,005 voila that brings us to the end of this video um, please feel free to subscribe to this channel give a thumbs up if you like this video and also look forward to more dev guides from secure secrets thank you for watching